You know, it's interesting to me how this Nicki Minaj and Cardi B uh, beef is playing out. It has, in my opinion, led to a bigger question. All right. But before I get to that, I want to just say this. I have never been a Nicki Minaj fan. And it's not because of her personally. I've just never cared for her music. There have been a couple of bops that I like, okay? The one with uh, Big Sean a long time ago. I like Pills and Potions. I guess I'm just not with the whole singing, rapping thing, all right? But I never had anything against her. Matter of fact, I admire the fact that she is competing against the men in the industry, all right? She bodied Kanye West on his own song. If you don't know that, if you're too young to understand that, Go back and listen to Monster and you tell me what you think. But anyway, I've been really disappointed by a lot of the reactions that she's been getting. I keep hearing, I'm so disappointed in Nikki. Nikki's too old for this. Nikki shouldn't say anything. Nikki did this. Nikki did that. Nikki look weak. Basically, you damn if you do, you damn if you don't. People act like somehow she's not supposed to respond if someone is saying something to her that's not true. Did she spaz out a bit? You're damn right she did. But Cardi B also did spaz out. But I guess you guys are so used to her spazzing out that nobody blinks an eye when she does it. Anyway, I didn't see anything wrong with Nikki defending herself. I am not in the category that says she's too old to do this. She's too old to do that. Hell, both of these women are grown. So what's good for one is good for the other. Just because Nicki Minaj is a few years younger, older than Cardi B does not mean that she cannot pop off when necessary. Because if it were you, you would probably do the same thing. So I have been very disappointed and seeing how people have been acting towards her. The Nikki hate train is real. And like I said, I don't have a dog in this fight. I'm not a Nicki Minaj fan. And judging on my other videos, if you haven't figured out by now, I'm definitely not a Cardi B fan. I am absolutely not a Cardi B fan. I won't sit here and say I ain't never nodded my head to Bodak Yellow, all right? or breaking head or some of that stuff. I'm not gonna even sit here and act like I don't. I won't front like that. However, the person, I can't stand her. When Cardi B first came on the scene in Love and Hip Hop, I thought she was funny. But in my mind, I never thought it would go beyond Love and Hip Hop. And even when it did, I was like, okay, well, we'll give this girl a chance. But again, it was never, I never really thought she would make it as a rapper because I have to be honest here. I'm not a fan of a bunch of strippers turning into rappers. I am not of the uh, stand of women who first strip and now they want to become rappers. Now, I know Eve was once a stripper and she became a rapper. Now she's married to a billionaire, all right? But Eve had talent and she had a skill, okay? What Cardi does is not a skill. She pretty much recites something someone else gives her. And that is why I feel Nikki has every right to be offended when people put her and Cardi B in the same category. They are not the same. I think there should be room for both of them in the industry but stop comparing them. They are not the same. Cardi B is an entertainer. She's very entertaining, I will give her that. But I don't think we should be calling her a rapper or even put her in the same category with a Nicki Minaj. Cardi B doesn't even know what a metaphor is. She took Nikki's bars as insults because she doesn't understand wordplay. That should tell you something. 
But to me, the bigger thing about this whole fiasco or beef between them is what it exposes. We have come to a place in society where popularity trumps talent. Popular people get shine while talented people have to move to the back of the line now. If you have 2 million Instagram followers, you can become a rapper. If you are one of those Instagram girls who has a lot of followers, you can get put on TV. You can make millions of dollars while the other people who actually go out and they go to college and they, they get a degree, they're not making that kind of money because popularity is beating out talent right now. And that is why Nicki Minaj feels a type of way. And I don't blame her. Nicki, Nicki is very talented. And she was the popular girl for quite a while. And so the fact that her popularity is waning is just what happens. That happens to everybody. You the cool chick for a long time, you the it girl, and then you lose your luster. It happens to everybody. The problem here is that between the two of them, Nikki is clearly the talented one. Now, Cardi B has her talents, but it's not rapping. And for anybody to come on here and say it is, you don't know a goddamn thing. Cardi B's talent is not rapping. Cardi B is a huge personality. And make no mistakes about it, she was going to be big anyway. Love and Hip Hop was her vehicle. She got very popular on Instagram and she monetized it. I'm not going to hate on that, but I don't think these two women should be in the same category. And like I said, I can see why Nikki would be mad. I would be mad. I would be mad if somebody wanted to equate me to somebody who don't write their rhymes and who does this just to make a buck. Nicki Minaj is passionate about rapping. This is her craft. She should be upset that somebody, somebody that comes along and has just basically mimics and mocks somebody else's song is basically taking her spot. I would be upset too. This happens all the time, but I'm here to tell you this. While popularity might be cool right now, it always exposes itself after a while. If you notice, when they were going back and forth a couple of days ago, Cardi B got a little quiet when Nicki Minaj said, hey, how about we sit in a room and, you know, somebody put on a beat and we write to it. You notice how she backed down after that because Cardi B understands She's not a lyricist. She cannot sit down and write a bar. She can't even spell, let alone write a bar. She didn't even know what a metaphor was. She doesn't even understand how metaphors work. If she did, she wouldn't have been insulted when Nicki Minaj called her a QB. What's bigger on a football team than a quarterback? Are you crazy? That was a compliment and she didn't know how to take it because she doesn't understand lyricism. This is what happens when you allow people that are popular to take over talented spaces. This is what happens. But I'm here to say this. The good news is, is that talent always prevails over popularity. Take Lonzo Ball. He got popular because his dad pushed him, right? But now look at him. He's an okay basketball player but he's not the best he didn't even turn out the best in his class he only got put on and got to the top as far as um uh recruiting and scouting and getting drafted because of his dad and I commend uh LaVar Ball for that I ain't even hating on that but the truth of the matter is he was not as talented as the other players out there and it's starting to show right now he can't measure up to a LeBron James his brother is overseas he's very popular that's why one of the most popular young men 
out here. Millions and millions and millions of followers on Instagram. He's an okay, talented basketball player. But again, when talent has to show up, a lot of these people fall. And that's what I think is going to happen to Cardi B. When it's all said and done, talent is always going to trump popularity because popularity is waning, all right? You popular for a minute and then people lose interest in you. My advice to Nicki Minaj is just keep doing your thing. Start to venture into other stuff. You should never stop rapping because trust me when I tell you, talent will always prevail. You will always be the talented of the two. Let Cardi B have her shine. It is her moment, but trust and believe she will be exposed because if somebody say, you notice why she's never gone on Sway? Why do you think she hasn't been on Sway? Because Sway has everybody do what? Freestyle. Cardi B cannot freestyle. So she stays away from that kind of stuff. But one day she will be exposed. Okay. And people will start to see, oh, okay. Uh, uh, mm. That's why I'm saying, you know what? <sighs> Nikki, it's going to be okay. You just keep doing your thing. You let that woman have her shine right now because it will not last. Popularity is fleeting and all these little Instagram girls with their little popularity, you know it doesn't last. You know eventually you get old, but you will always have a talent. So all my girls out there in college, don't you be sitting about there worrying about the fact that you doing all the right things and these girls out here making hundreds and millions of thousands of dollars, because guess what? Their body will start to fade. They will start to wrinkle, but you will always have your talent. You will always have your degree. You will always have something to fall back on. Don't you worry about that kind of stuff. The talented will always prevail. So y'all need to lay off on Nicki Minaj because I agree with her in this point. Again, we have got to stop propping up the popular over the talented because it gives our children the idea that they don't have to show a talent they just need to be popular. And you know what people are out here doing to be popular? Do you really want your kids on that? Is that what we really want for our children and our society? Anyway, I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. All I'm trying to say is talent prevails. Bye, everybody.